Hi everybody. Welcome back to my channel. Story time with Chetali. Today we will be reading Potato Pants by Laurie Keller. E Potato is excited because today for one day only Lance Vance's fancy pants store is selling potato pants. Potato rushes over early. But just as he's about to walk in, something makes him stop. What could it be? Find out in this one of a kind story about misunderstandings, forgiveness, and of course, potato pants. So let's begin. Potato is excited. That's why he's doing the robot. I call it the Bobot because I am a potato. He's excited because today, for one day only, Lance Vance's fancy pants store is selling potato pants. E. Potato knows every tater in town will want a pair. So he's there early because, like the sign says, once they're gone, they're gone. I want a stripey pair. Just like the ones in the window with stripy suspenders for added stripiness. What's this? Potato is upset. That's why he stopped doing the robot. He's upset about the eggplant who just walked into Lance Vance's fancy pants store. What's he doing here? Eggplants don't even wear pants. Yesterday was Eggplant Pants Day. Potato won't go into Lance Vance's fancy pants store now because of that eggplant. That eggplant is nothing but trouble. Yesterday, I was walking along, minding my own potato -y business. Out of my way! Bow! When he ran by and pushed me right into a trash can. If he sees me in Lance Vance's fancy pants store, he'll push me again and ruin my brand new potato pants. Poor potato. It's not easy for him to watch all the other potatoes walk by in their new potato pants. I love my new potato pants. We love ours too. Mine have coconuts and ruffles. Mine have big pockets. Mine are kind of scratchy. I may need some potato underpants. Potato is losing his patience, waiting for that eggplant to leave Lance Vance's fancy pants store. What's taking him so long? And if yesterday was eggplant pants day, why is he here on potato pants day? Potato pants day. That's ridiculous. Potatoes don't even wear pants. It's not ridiculous, grocery store lady. Ooh, the grocery store. They have potatoes. Maybe they've got potato pants too. What a clever potato. He figured out a way to avoid that eggplant and still get his potato pants. Hello, grocery store. Do you have potato pants? Potato pants? Yeah, you know, pants that are made for potatoes. We don't have potato pants. Well, maybe in your store you call them something more like spud slacks, tater trousers, yam chaps. Any of those ring a bell? Heck, I could probably squeeze myself into a pair of cucumber cords if I had to. Do you have any cucumber cords? Sorry, sir. No clothing here. Just food. Potato is not giving up. He's sure there's a way to get potato pants without having to face that eggplant. Think, think, think. Don't panic. I still have time. Actually, you don't have much time. There's only one pair of potato pants left on the rack. Only one pair of potato pants left on the rack? What will potato do now? Potato pants, out of my way. Only one pair left. 
What a brave potato! He is not going to let that eggplant stop him from getting the last pair of potato pans on the rack. Bam! Rip! Potato pans! Where are they? I need potato pans! Yikes! Potato may be in for more trouble than he bargained for after that entrance. Oh no! Potato is too late. Where are they? Sorry, I got the last pair on the rack. Okay, okay. Potato, let's take a moment here. Come on, deep breaths. Inhale, exhale, inhale, exhale. That's it. Think of puffy clouds. Inhale, exhale. Oh, forget it. This is exhausting. Let it out, potato. That eggplant has ruined everything. It's his fault I didn't get potato pans. He has brand new perfect eggplant pans, but I'm totally pantless. It's not fair. Actually, his eggplant pants aren't perfect anymore. You hit him with the door and they ripped all the way up the back. You can see for yourself. Here he comes. Oh, potato. It's been nice knowing you. I've been looking for you, spud. Potato is scared. If he had potato boots, he'd be shaking in them. I came back here to do what I should have done yesterday. What? Turn me into mashed potatoes? I'm here to up. Apologize. I'm sorry I pushed you. I was in a hurry to get these eggplant pants. I hope you'll forgive me. What? He's not turning me into mashed potatoes? Potato is shocked. His starchy little head is spinning. Forgive him? Why should I forgive him? He pushed me into a trash can. Err! But I ripped his brand new eggplant pants. Oh, uh, I don't know what to do. So, will Potato forgive that eggplant or not? I forgive you, eggplant. And I am sorry for ruining your new eggplant pants. Excuse me. We can fix your eggplant pants and they'll be as good as new. And the sale is over, so you can have the potato pans on the mannequin in the window. Do you like those? Like him? I love him! Now that is one stripey potato. Potato's favorite thing about his new potato pans, besides their stripey stripiness, is that they also make great robot pans. Oh, bot pants, egg bot pants. The end. Meet the creator of the potato pants, Tuberto. Tuberto was inspired to create potato pants after not being able to find pants that fit him properly. He is now busy designing a full line of potato fashion for both the active and the couch potato. This is the new Potato Pants collection. I hope you enjoyed the book as much as I loved reading it. Stay tuned for more.